Hi, my name is Lyric Montgomery Kennard and I'd like to share with you a few of the stitches I use to work the patterns that Global Artisans has put out. I have a series of inspirational words and a series of beautiful, gorgeous beetles for you. The first stitch I'm going to show you is a simple back stitch. You'll need a knot in the end of your thread. I just twist it and roll it off until it's got just enough knot to poke through. Now when I make a back stitch, I bring my thread up where I want it to be, actually just a little past the line, do a back stitch, which means I'm going backwards, and then perpendicular, and on the back, I kind of on that first stitch, put my finger over the knot and hold it out of the way. The thing you're going for is putting your needle down right in the hole that it came out of. And then pull it through. And then if you drag your thread along the back, you can feel or see where the stitch is coming up. The idea is to try to get stitches that are even. And to have no holes, no gaps of fabric showing through. Another thing that's happening is that my finger here is feeling the thread on the other side. So that as I pull the thread through, I can feel that it comes out flat and that I don't get any knots in the thread. So it's a really simple stitch. It's got a line of thread on the back and on the front. So it gives it kind of some body. You can get really detailed by making your stitches really short or get done faster by making your stitches longer. Again, my finger on the back here is feeling it go through. I drag my needle till I find the place I want to come up. And then as I go down, it really does help to hold the needle perpendicular to the fabric. And go right back down in that hole that you started from. When I'm ready to finish off my line, I turn it over, take my needle right through where that thread is coming out, wrap that thread twice around the pointy tip of the needle, hold it with my thumb and pull it through. Sorry, got a little wiggly there. And then I just thread my embroidery thread straight back through the line so it's not hanging out and clip it. Now I can put in another knot and come back up where I want my next line to be.